Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi yassir wa la tawassir wa tamim bil hayr. Rabbi zidni ilma. Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are all good. This is the updated 7th edition of book D3. And today we will do exercise 10C. Let's start students. Now students, this is the exercise 10C. Today we will do uh, question number 4 and onward. And in question number four, in the diagram, P lies on OA and Q lies on OB. This is P and this is Q. This lies on P lies on OA. This is OA line and the Q is on OQ, OB line. Such that OP is equal to OQ. Place a set square with one side along PQ. We have to place that along PQ. This is PQ and another side passing through O as shown in the diagram and the other side is passing through O. The diagram is given to us. Explain why OC is the angle bisector of AOB. Uh, we have to explain why this is OC is the angle bisector. Now, students, we have to prove that this is the angle bisector of AOB. Now, we have to prove it like that. P is equivalent to Q. And uh, O is equivalent to O, common in both triangles. And uh, C is equivalent to C. This is also common in both triangles. And uh, now OP is equal to OQ. This is given to us. This is given in the question. This one is. And now OC is equal to OC. It is common. And uh, now we can see that the angle C is equal to angle PCO is equal to OCP and it is equal to 90 degree. Angle O CP is equal to OCQ is equal to 90 degree. These angles are equal to 90 degree. Therefore, the triangles A are congruent. And by which that's, that's they are congruent to each other by the POC is a congruent uh, is congruent to triangle OCQ. These triangles are equal congruent to each other and because of which test right hand right a right angle, hypotenuse and side. This hypotenuse is equal, that right angle and one side which is common in it are equal and that test is applied on it and the both triangles are congruent to each other. And this proves that the OC is the and OC is the angle bisector. We have to prove that the triangles are congruent. When we prove uh, the tri triangles are congruent by the test, uh, right angle, hypotenuse and side test. And this proof, this proof when the both triangles are congruent and this proof that this is a angle bisector. OC is an angle bisector. Now students, question number 5. The diagram shows Ellison standing at a point A along a river bank. He looks directly across the opposite bank, adjusting his cap so that his line of vision CB passes through the lowest point at the rim of his cap and falls on a point B. He then turns around without moving his head. His new line of vision CB dash through the lowest point at the rim of his cap now falls on a point B dash on the same side of the river. State which measurement he can made in order to find the width AB of the river. Now, students, question number five. The diagram shows Essen standing at a point A along a river bank. He looks directly across the opposite bank, 
adjusting his cap so that his line of vision CB passes to the lowest point. This is a CB at the rim of his cap and falls on a point B. He then turns around without moving his head. His new line of vision is CB dash. This is the new line of vision through the lowest point at the rim of his cap. Now falls on the point B dash. It, it is given in this description that the CB is equal to the CB dash. On the same side of the river, state which measurement he made in order to find the width AB of the river. He has to find the AB and which measurement he made. Explain your answer. He made that measurement AB dash. And uh, how he proved that the AB dash is equal to the AB. Uh, you can see that this is a triangle. This is a triangle. One triangle is A, C, a, C, B dash, another one is A, B and C. When the both triangles are congruent, it means that the length both sides are length are equal. A, B dash is equal to the A, B. Third, so we have to prove in this question that the both triangles are congruent. You can see that the A is uh, equivalent to A and b is equivalent to b dash and c is equivalent to c and uh, in this uh, the ac is equal to ac because this is a common side ac is equal to the ac this is a common side and the angle bc that angle b c a and the angle a c and b these angles are equal because these angles are along the same line of vision. It's given in in this description that these angles uh, that this his vision is on the same line. That's why the both angles are equal. This is a common side and uh, angle. B C A is equal to B dash C A. Why? Because the same line of vision. B C is equal to B dash C dash. It is also given in the descriptions that this that that there are at look at the same point. That's why the BC is equal to B dash and C dash. Now triangle ACB dash is congruent to triangle ACB is equal to the triangle BABC. If the both triangles are congruent. And by which test they are congruent? They are congruent to the side angle side test. And uh, if the triangles are congruent and it's proof AB is equal to AB dash. And hence these are equal. And now students we have to prove, we have to explain our answer that uh, when we find this uh, length we can find this length by measuring that length and because the both sides are equal and now students see question number five are is solved now students see question number six a candle is placed 15 centimeter from the lens this is a candle this is placed 15 centimeter away from the lens and a screen is placed at a distance of x this is the distance x from the lens the image of the candle is de this is the image of the candle is de uh, which is captured on the screen is inverted image is inverted and is three times the length of the candle find the value of x we have to find that value uh, the, the two triangles are that the two now so we see two triangles are similar and uh, the triangle a b and c and the other triangle is b d and e these two triangles are similar. When the triangles are similar, then the length, then the ratio of the cross corresponding sides are also similar. 
uh, so we have to find the length we have to do it like that now students so this is given to us that the uh, that the image of the candle is three times the length of the candle so we can write it like that so this is given that image of candle is three times the length of candle so ac this is ac and this is the image de is 1 by 3 this is given to us and uh, as the triangle abc is similar to triangle B D E is similar to triangle B, so there and the, so the ratio of the corresponding sides are also equal. B D B D. We have to find the B D, which is X over B D over A B is equal to D E over A C. BD is X, AB is 15, and this is uh, AC over DE is 1 by 3. And when it is, uh, we take the reciprocal of it, it's become 3 over 1, and we write there 3, and X 3 multiplied by 15, and we get X is 45. And now, so it's the distance between the screen and the lens is 45 centimeters. And now, students, the question number six is solved. Now, students, question number seven using using a set square. This is a set square. We can bisect a given angle. We have to bisect that angle. And uh, in this diagram, P, P and Q. This is P and Q are marked along the arms. These are marked along the arms OA and OB. These points are marked along these arms and respectively of a o and b of this angle respectively such that o p this side is equal to the this side o q move 190 degree minus 45 minus 45 set square away from o that the that this is moved to the 90 degree this is the 90 degree and uh, a set square away from O until a 45 edges coincides with P and Q. And this is the angle of 45. This is the, also the angle of 45. As shown in the diagram, explain why OM. We have to explain why OM is the angle bisector of A, O and B. Why this is the angle bisector of A, O and B. POM, this triangle POM is uh, congruent to the triangle M, O, and Q. Then we prove that this, uh, that this side is a bisector because the triangles are common and this uh, uh, side is passes through, the, through it. We have to prove it. To explain why OM is an angle bisector, we prove that the both triangles are congruent. So we can do it. Now, so it's OM is equal to OM because this is the common side. Common and OP is equal to OQ. OQ because this is given to us. And now PM is equal to MQ. Why PM is equal to MQ? Because the angle uh, is equal to angle PMQ is equal to 90 degree and it bisected. This is the 45, 45. This is also given to us in the description of the questions. So we can write uh, PMQ is equal to 90 degree. And therefore the PM is equal to QM. Therefore the triangle 
P O M is congruent to triangle O M Q. The both triangles are congruent and uh, therefore we can write it uh, that the why they are congruent we have to prove it by the side 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 congruency test side 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 congruency test and hence the o and hence this proves that the both triangles are congruent and this proves that the om is the angle bisector of A O M B. This is the angle bisector of angle A O M B. And now, students, we have to explain it. And uh, the question number seven is also solved. And this the exercise is done. I hope you understand this exercise very well. Thank you very much, students, for watching my videos. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.